right, we have another fish unboxing today. I picked up another group of pet plecos to add to my fish room. I got these off of Aquabid from uh, Wet Thumbs, and I got the L082 Opal Spot Plecos. You know, I've been looking at these for quite a while, and I was going to pick them up, and I just held off a little bit, but then, you know, Wet Thumb gave me a great deal on these. These are F1s off of his wild caught group. And so I bought five of these to add to my tanks. So let's take a look at them here. They came in pretty decent size. And I can see that there's one in one bag and two in the other. So it's two in one bag and one in one bag and two in another bag. So I got five total. And it's kind of hard to see them here. So I'm gonna do my best to let you guys uh, get a good look at them. That's bag number one. And bag number two here. Yeah, I'm gonna, after I float them, I'm gonna put them in a little container so we can see them a little bit better before I add them into their quarantine tank. And here's the third bag and they're all alive and doing well so what i'm gonna do now let me just float teeth float these babies for like 15 minutes then we take a better look at them and as you can see they are doing well they like i said they're pretty good size you can see that they're stressed the color is it's faded in them right now but they are doing good and so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put them into their quarantine tank for a while while I get their 40 breeder set up for them. And keep it in mind too, I, I was gonna order more of them, but I decided just to stick with five because these get larger than the other um, plecos that I do have. These get pretty good size for what I read up on them. I never had these before, so I just said, let me do five and see what I get out of there. Now. There is a day later in their quarantine tank, and now you can see that their color is coming in. I do not have a light on this tank, so it's kind of hard to see them, but I'll do my best to let you guys get a better look. And you can see here. And I also got some new uh, guppies. I'll speak on those a little bit more in the future, but I got a couple new guppy projects I'm working on as well. And I got these quarantining in the same tank. They came in at the same time and everything is being treated. But they are doing well. Let me see if I can get a closer look at these guys so you can see how beautiful they are. And uh, let me move some of the caves around here so we can see if we can get a better little look at these. see them moving around now here they are and now we can see the spot coloration on them really beautiful fish um, like I said I never had these before so I'm gonna take time to observe them learn more about them and then I can get a little bit more in-depth um, observation and um, more of a species spotlight on these uh, plecos later. But for now, just wanted you guys to be able to see them and see the new plecos I do have and I'm going to be working with. I may decide to add more to this group later, but for now, five is enough. You know, they're not cheap and uh, I just want to make sure I'm making the right decision with these. So I'm gonna quarantine them for about uh, three weeks in this tank and then put them in a 40 breeder. So again, let me see if you can get a better look out of them and then we can close this video out. All right, so you guys, thank you for watching.